This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB basketball with head coach Andy Kennedy. Blazers All Access is presented by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System, and by Mountain Dew. Do the do. Here's the voice of the Blazers, David Crane. After a three-game road trip, the Green and Gold were happy to be back inside Bartow Arena last Saturday, and the fans that came for the Bartow Classic saw a record-setting performance. We welcome you to Blazers All Access, normally with head coach Andy Kennedy. Happy to be joined this week by assistant coach Philip Pearson. I'm David Crane. Coach Middle Tennessee came to town on a five-game winning streak. Your guys were trying to bounce back from a tough loss at Marshall, but I guess the good thing, you had a week to prepare for that ball game. Well, we did. It was nice, and uh, we were very concerned. Middle Tennessee's got a, a same coach, but a new group of players. They actually played a different style of basketball this year uh, as well, and, and uh, had obviously been on the road, uh, won, won a couple games there on their last road trip, and, and on a five-game winning streak coming in, and uh, thought they would present a challenge, and they, and they certainly did. They looked like a very confident team early in that game. They built an eight-point lead a couple of times on you in the first half. They did. Their guard play especially, uh, Sims and Jefferson, they were a handful for us. Didn't guard them as well as we needed to out of the gates, but uh, luckily uh, we kind of got going there towards the end of the, end of the first half. You've played basketball, coached basketball a long time. I've watched, watched a lot of it in my years. We've all seen flurries and runs and momentum changes, but I'm not sure I've seen anything like the final four <laughs> minutes of the first half in a long, long time. You outscored middle 21-4 to four to go from down eight to up nine at halftime. Where does that rank on some of the yeah. runs you've seen? Well, I had somebody ask me today. I think uh, I saw Todd Day do that one time at Arkansas. That was many years ago. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we were thankful uh, it turned out that way. We were, you know, kind of struggling to guard him a little bit. But then, uh, you know, got uh, turned him over a couple times. Jelly made a few shots. And, uh it was unbelievable. I looked up at the half and said, well, I think we're just down eight. Now we're up nine. Okay, it's pretty good. Let's go. Jordan Walker hit five three-pointers in the first half, and he accounted for 14 of those 21 points in the closing minutes to help the Blazers to a 48-39 halftime lead. Grabs the miss. Up top to Love and Taven. Crossover dribble down the lane. Lays it up with a left hand. Good. Basketball for Middle Tennessee. Tied at two, only briefly as Jordan Walker knocks down a jumper off the right baseline for his first point. Miss turns, heads up the floor for UAB, bounces it ahead to Buffin, cutting to the bucket, left hand layup, good. Wow. He's right with it, keeps the dribble going, he'll drive, he'll scoop it off the glass, good. Talking about hard to guard. He Walker's got it, left wing, Lawrence, check that. Fussell defending, but it doesn't matter, he steps back and hits the three. Big Jackson, Blazers with a four on three. Brown right side, spot up three. Count it. Good for him. That's what he Racing does. Up the right side, centers it up, top of the key, three on the way. Got it. Boy, do you know how hard a shot that is, David? Other end, he will lay it up. Get it to go. And a foul. The highlights are brought to you by Viva Health. You weren't thinking about a Medicare plan back then, but at Viva Medicare, it's been on our mind for a long time. And we know a thing or two about making Medicare easy. That's why our plans have $0 copays for primary care physician visits. So when the time comes to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that focuses on the things you're passionate about, we'll be here for you. Viva Medicare. Enjoy life without the worry. Learn more at vivahealth.com slash Medicare. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package at the end of the day is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. UAB enjoyed a nine point lead at intermission. I'm guessing that was one of those games where let's just keep playing. Let's don't worry about halftime. Let's just keep playing if we can. <laughs> yeah. No, there's, there's no doubt. We were playing well going into the half and, of course, went in there and got a deep breath. And then you come out, you worry about, you know, how are we going to start the second half? And, hey, first three or four minutes we told them was going to be very critical. Need to come out and, uh, you know, assert ourselves again, be sure we don't let them make two or three shots and, and, uh, and chip into that lead. And they didn't make a shot or two, but we were able to kind of – uh, get it back out to a manageable margin for us. Got it back to 10 points or double digits at the 16 minute mark. It never got under 10 the rest of the way. It's not easy. We, we saw a good start get whittled away. It's not easy to build and sustain those types of leads. Is no, it? there's no doubt. And you know, as a, as a coaching staff, you're always over there in the game, even though it got to be a 12 or 15 point game, it still felt like it managed just two or three trips away from, from having a problem. But, uh, 
you know, we, we handled ourselves pretty well down the stretch and, you know, happy to get out of there with a win. Anytime you score 97 points, you got you to gotta feel good about it. Game was really never in doubt, but a record was certainly in jeopardy. When did when did you and the bench players, coaches, all that know that, that Jordan was approaching some history? I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't really know it till it was hat until it really happened, you know, and everybody's, <laughs> you know, giving him the uh, the applause and so forth and so on and thought uh, Coach Kennedy handled it very well and he told him in the locker room, records are made to be broken. So hey, it was a great day for him. Crowd stay. They hope to see a record-breaking performance. They were rewarded with that and also the chance to see a tremendous turnout of former players here over the weekend. It was. Of course, UAB's got a great tradition uh, for many, many years, and uh, Coach Kenny was a big part of that and a lot of other guys. And So they had a function on Friday night that we were all a part of here in, in Birmingham, and then great to see them. They were all excited on Saturday afternoon. Uh, at halftime, we were coming off, and they were all right outside our locker room, so they were all excited, and then, of course, after the game as well. Gene Bartow Classic was a tremendous success. 97-75 the final as UAB rolled over the Blue Raiders inside Bartow Arena. Picks it up, racing to the other end. Mike Ertle, coast to coast, finds Gordon driving for the bucket and a foul. Drive past Lawrence, scooping in the paint to Jackson in the driving lay-in. Two great plays in the weak side rebound. Hooks it in the lane to Quan Fakes, leans in, little six-footer, off the glass, good, and a foul. He drives, knocked away wow. and stolen by Quan Jackson. Pushing the other way to Walker, left wing three. Got it! Play of the game. Teams eighth, one and one for Walker. The front end. Got it. And the school record with it. I think he knows it. I think Andy Kennedy knows it. The fans at Bartow know it. Standing ovation for Jordan Walker. I've seen a lot of games in this building, but it's one of the best individual performances I've certainly seen. 42 points for Jordan Walker and a hug from the head coach. As a he hug puts from the head coach as he busted his record. He did. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The highlights are brought to you by Mountain Dew. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package, at the end of the day, is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank. We welcome you back to Blazers All Access with head coach Andy Kennedy. Happy to be joined this week by assistant coach Philip Pearson. Blazers now 18-5 and five overall on the year, 8-2 in league play. Let's check the Children's of Alabama stats for the game on Saturday. Coach, a, a great shooting day, 54.5% overall, 43.5% from three, almost 80% from the line. You out-rebound them. For 17 turnovers in the ball game, come up with 11 steals. It was a pretty lopsided box score in your favor. The one exception, it's the second straight game. Middle has made 15 three-pointers, and you still won by 22. Yeah, I hadn't seen that. I'd have to go back and look at that, but uh, no doubt about it. Of course, they made 15 at, at uh, Western the game before. I obviously had us uh, very concerned about that, and, and they've got two guys in Jefferson that we know is a great three-point shooter, and in Sims, and they had a couple other guys that – uh, aren't typically the kind of shooters, but all of a sudden they, they were on Saturday. So, hey, you never know how it's going to be. you got to guard them uh, wherever they are on court, we tell our guys. And uh, uh, we were just happy to get out of there with a win. I will say the Blue Raiders were much more balanced offensively than UAB was. They had four double digits. The Blazers only had two. One of them, Quan Jackson, he had a double-double, 14 points, 10 rebounds to go with four assists and two steals, easy to get overshadowed on a day like that. But boy, I thought he played well. Yeah, Coach and I were talking about that this morning. I mean, Quan had a really good game, really good floor game. He handled himself well. Uh, boy, he made some real nice drives and cuts to the basket, laid a few balls in, got his hand on a few balls. And the one thing he did as well, they, they, they tried to play us a little bit of a 1-3-1. One, one. And as a guard, uh, Quan made two or three really nice passes, just handled himself very well in the game. We do try to come up with different difference makers throughout the season, but Jordan Walker is making that very difficult. His final line from Saturday, 14 of 23 from the field, 8 of 16 from three, 6 of 7 from the foul line. He had three rebounds, four assists, four steals, 
and a school record 42 points. There aren't a lot of people that can relate to numbers like those. Andy Kennedy is one that can. How was the coach after the game, after seeing his record go down? Yeah, he, he was great. Uh, of course, you know, gave him a big round of applause or got a chance to get him out of the game and let the crowd uh, you know, give him a hand, which I thought was nice. And then in the locker room, uh, of course, everybody's excited about the game and Jelly's performance. And then uh, coach just said, hey, all records are made to be broken. <laughs> so uh, he was excited. We all were. Murray Varto mentioned it during our broadcast. You don't see a lot of unselfish players scoring 42 points, but Jordan really isn't just looking for his shot, is he? Yeah, no, he's done a great job, uh, you know, several games here. I think he was back-to-back -back player of the week in the league. So he's, he's scoring it, and then he's getting to other guys at the, at the right time. So hopefully we can keep him going in, uh, in the right direction. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank. Bunch of string, nylon, and knots. But what else do you know of that means more when you cut it down than when you put it up? You gotta earn that string, man. They don't give it out for second place. That thing comes with rings and reunions. Your name in the rafters. Those banners, they probably get some company because this is a revival. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Legacy Credit Union. Next up for the green and gold is a visit from Southern Miss on Thursday night. The Golden Eagles struggling. Jay Ladner's team on a five-game losing streak, and they have dropped eight of their last nine. It's been tough for them as of late, hasn't it? Well, they, they've struggled. I know they've, they've struggled to win games, and uh, I've had a chance to watch three or four games of late. You know, the, the scary part about Southern Miss is they came in here last year uh, Friday and Saturday as we played last year, and they gave us two two tough games. And so they've got the big kid Stevenson back on the inside and then the uh, kid Pierre uh, for them. I think he's made 16 threes in the last three games. So he's he's coming in as a perimeter player that's, that's filling it awfully well right now, shooting the ball. So uh, we'll have our hands full with those two guys. And, of course, you got to be ready anytime you lace them up. And a rivalry game, that always adds a little bit to the, the, the formula, doesn't it? Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Southern Miss and UAB have played for many years just right next door here. And I'm sure a lot of our players uh, and their players know one another from years past. So uh, it, it'll be a, you know, another challenge for us. We're excited to play at home again. A little quirk in the schedule. You go to Old Dominion over the weekend, a Sunday game. But it is nice to have that extra day to, to try to prepare for the it, Monarchs. It is. Uh, you know, the, the one-day uh, preps are a little bit hard. So this will give us two days, and, and hopefully we'll be ready for, uh, for Old Dominion on the road. I'm sure it'll be a, another tough envir environment. Tip time, 6 o'clock on Thursday. CBS Sports Network televises the matchup. Murray Barto and I'll be on there with pregame starting at 5.30. Then on Sunday, that's right, Super Bowl Sunday. It's UAB and Old Dominion from Norfolk. Blazers and the Monarchs tip at 1 p.m. Central. Pre-game will start at 1230. Game will be televised by ESPNU. We appreciate you being with us. Good luck this week. Thank you. For assistant coach Philip Pearson, filling in for Andy Kennedy and all of us at the Blazers Sports Network, I'm David Crane. We thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you on Thursday here in Birmingham. and be back with us next time for Blazers All Access. Blazers All Access has been presented by Mountain Dew, Do the Dew, and by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System. This has been a presentation of the Blazers Sports Network from Learfield IMG College.